find really exciting about prenatal trauma healing is the way that it changes lives. People come along to the workshops looking very anxious and tense and they go away looking really relaxed and happy. And uh, the difficulty for me as a prenatal trauma facilitator is being able to explain to people what it's really about. And if more people could understand, I'm sure you'd be coming in your flocks to this experience. It seems so unlikely that it's possible that we have memories and experiences of when we were an egg or a sperm. Um, the idea first came across to me when I came across a book reading about the consciousness of a woman in her egg state. She could remember being the egg in her mother's um, ovary. It wasn't until a few years later when I did a training as a cranial sacral therapist and we were doing the prenatal module and I spontaneously went into a, reg a regression of being a blastocyst attempting to implant in my mother's womb. And that experience was completely terrifying. I thought that I was going to die. In fact, I thought that my mother was trying to kill me in the experience. And thinking back now, my mother was 18 at that time and she told me that I was conceived on her wedding night. Just post-war years, um, following a lot, of, a lot of distress for everyone and um, I'm not sure that she really wanted to get married. So in this experience I was battling for about 20 minutes like I'm going to die, I'm going to die, my mother's trying to kill me. It was the most awful experience. And then this wave of what felt like grace, like the wings of an angel enfolding me, came over me and I breathed and I knew that indeed I was going to be all right. Now what's interesting is that this is an experience that I share with every other human being. Not that we all have that difficulty at the stage of implantation, but that coming as a soul into embodiment, into being a human being, is an extremely challenging um, situation. That maybe only one third of all the embryos conceived actually make it um, to the full stage of birth, for instance. Our prenatal lives are times of extreme danger and um, a lot of death. So there are, there are lots of transition points when it's really pivotal, can we make it or not make it? And at those points in time, this is when trauma gets imprinted into our nervous systems. Now we w might wonder how that can happen since at that time there's no nervous system in a sperm or an egg. What is it that remembers? How is this experience carried forward through our consciousness? And my understanding and experience from working with many, many people is that the, the soul, our soul is coming through and that's what's recording the, um, the memory. We have um, a soul experience at that time and the soul doesn't like shock. So the, the, when we have these shocks in our, in our prenatal lives and in, in our experiences, the soul isn't fully able to embody. So we may go through the whole of our life not being fully embodied, not fully living as deeply as we could be living, not fully in our bodies, not fully experiencing life, not fully enjoying life. And I think this is a difference between when people come to the workshop and they're very distressed and they get to the end of the process and they're very deeply relaxed and, and their life begins to change. What's happened in that moment is that the soul has been able to embody some more and that the brain has been able to repattern the experience that happened in that traumatic moment, which may have been at the time of being a sperm or an egg or at conception, implantation or the time where the mother discovered that she was pregnant with you. So those times of danger, at that moment, there is an imprint, a life statement that gets built around that um, a sense of, this is me, a sense of identity, this is what my life's about. For instance, I also had a very difficult time in my birth process. I was born face up. It was a very awkward position to come through the birth canal and it was 
immensely, um, immensely difficult. When I regressed to those stages in my prenatal trauma training, I could only touch into the experience for something like 30 seconds and the intensity of it was, made me feel like I was going to pass out. And I discovered that the life statement that I built around this was that if I don't really, really struggle hard and work hard in my life, I'm going to die. So it's led me to a pattern of overwork, which I've tried to balance now because I tend to work and get very exhausted at times. Um, because it's like, if I have a difficulty, I have to work harder and harder to get through it. Well, people build many uh, life statements around these early experiences. For instance, the, the journey of the blastocyst down the fallopian tube is a journey where the blastocyst can suffer core starvation because there's insufficient nutrients there for a very long journey. So the blastocyst has to make the journey very quickly. And, the, and statements such as, I never have enough, I never have enough money, there's not enough time, there's not enough love, can be connected back to this journey in the fallopian tube. Other statements are like, my boundaries are always overwhelmed, always invaded. This can link into what happens at conception when the egg is surrounded by the sperm. There are many of these core statements and we live our lives um, cut down, diminished by the belief systems that we have that are formulated at that time. Now what's interesting about the prenatal work is that people come into the workshop and we begin to unravel what are the core statements that you identify with? What's going on with your life? And from this point, we begin to backtrack and the, the person begins to get into these soul memories. And these are experienced also as cellular memories in that the body will start to make movements, subtle micro-movements of the hand or the body and so on. And as facilitators, Julie and I begin to track what's going on and support the people in following the thread of that experience and we go deeper and deeper into it until we begin to identify what the key experience was at that time. And at that point then we help the person to re-pattern the experience. It's like how can you reframe this experience? How would you have liked it to have been? And then we set up all the circumstances so the person can re-pattern it. But what's interesting is that at that point the brain takes over and, and totally reframes the experience so that neurons reconnect in a different way and there is a real genuine feeling that instead of my birth being arduous, for instance, my birth was, was easy or instead of being unwelcome because I was the wrong sex, I was really welcomed as the sex that I was. And in that moment you witness the expression that comes over a person's face when they're going through this repatterning experience and they have an altogether different feeling come over them. Like suddenly they become deeply relaxed, they may feel extreme aliveness in their body, they may feel um, really, really supported and loved in a and blissed out in a way that they've never experienced before, or they can feel that um, much more, much more acutely aware of things, or, or colours are brighter. It's a really quite, quite a profound experience, and it doesn't stop there. Changes begin to happen in their lives. The um, when we have these core statements, we tend to rerun this trauma and external events that run through our lives, like my boundaries are always overwhelmed, can be somebody that has had break-ins or um, physical abuse. It, um, experiences will build up in the life where the trauma recapitulates, repeats, until you get down to the root of what caused it in the first place. And this is what's important about the prenatal trauma resolution work, is that we're working at the root of the experience. So this is why it really excites me. I love the way people look when we finish the work and it's a real buzz for me. It's, re it's really rewarding, deeply gratifying and I'm, I just look forward to meeting more people and doing this work with them. So if you're interested, if you have things going on with your life that you feel is, is a limitation then do get in touch. 
and we'll do what we can to help you.